Would you like to be able to dynamically select the value you use to monitor your player's load? Well, in this Power BI for Sports Science tutorial, I'll show you how to do just that using a couple of simple measures in DAX. So let's get started. As always, if you're finding my videos for the first time, make sure you hit like and subscribe below, but also hit that notification bell icon so you're notified of future videos. So as I said in this week's Power BI for Sports Science tutorial, we're going to look at how to use a dynamic selection to change your measure of load from being either total distance to high speed running, or a specific uh, a value or measure of high speed running such as sprint distance and so on. So we're going to need to do a couple of things to get this to work. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to our modeling tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new table using a DAX expression today. This is a different way of doing it than what you might be used to, but it's something that's really helpful to learn. So we're just going to click new table and we are going to use uh, uh, call this table underscore metrics, for example, equals, and we're going to use data table. So here it allows you to uh, define the values you're using. So for example, we use metric and then we're going to tell it that it's a string. And then another one I usually add is an order column and we can call that an integer. Another comma and then we'll put in our curly brackets here. And then the first thing you're going to use is a value such as total distance. And then we'll give that the order of one. And then we'll do another one high speed running, for example. We'll give that two. And let's just do one more for this video and we'll call it sprinting and we'll go three and we just need to close off our curly brackets and then our normal bracket so then now we've got our new table and we can add our metric to our uh, uh to our canvas what i might do is just copy this so then it gives us the same formatting Just like that. So now you can see your values there, but if we wanted to order them, could go into our table back here and sort by order. Once it clicks in, go back and you can see now it's ordered. So for example, if we select total distance and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our selection controls and make it single select. What we can do here is we can create a measure and let's just call this selected metric equals and we're going to go selected value i'm going to put metric here so this will output the value of the metric that we've selected and then all we'll do is we'll go over to our load data and we'll call or we'll create a new measure i'm going to call this load value equals and all we're going to do is we're going to use a function a dax function called switch and we're going to look for one that equals true as one option. But then your other option is we can use selected metric here. And what it will do is it will find the one that it's selected. So if we go total distance like this, we will go sum. Oops. And then we just need to put in our total distance value here. If we go, for example, for uh, high speed running we would then need to go and sum our band 5 distance sum our band 6 distance and then sum our band 7 distance and then the last metric we have is sprinting and we will just sum our band seven and let's close that so then if we were to add this here to our graph at the bottom let's see what we get so load value here and we should make these rather than stacked let's make them clustered and we can see they look exactly the same but now if I click high speed let's see what happens to the red bar and it's a 
portion of the height, as you can see. So that shows you it's collecting or selecting our value. So let's remove total distance here. We'll keep total distance and what we will do is we will add on a uh, 7 and our 28 day values here. And we can see those there. So now our uh, dark blue color is our 7 day. So let's go in here and we're going to change this sum to our load value. Hit enter. And it's all loaded and it looks exactly the same. If we go to high speed running now, we'll see that it's different. So let's go back and we'll click on our 28 day and we'll do the same thing here. Hit enter. And then let's also do this for our uncoupled value as well. And hit enter. So now that those are all done, these values are now essentially just a load seven day sum. So let's click on high speed running and we can see that it's changed already. If we go to sprinting, we can see everything there changes. If we click coupled as well, we can see those change on our ACWR. So you have a very easy way of being able to highlight or show your uh, different metrics quickly rather than having to use uh, multiple different measures or uh, that you have to create one by one. We have a single measure use, using DAX to create our different values. So if you guys have liked this video, I'm going to change this back here to having a secondary axis. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe below and make sure you've notified of future videos. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys next time where we will continue to power performance through data. Thank you.